Well, grab a cold cup of coffee because we've got a hot one for you today. And what else will it be for? If not, the Ben Affleck midlife crisis look recently making waves amidst the Benifer divorce drama? Just a few days ago, social media was in a frenzy as Jennifer Lopez announced her divorce from Ben. As if that wasn't enough, Ben Affleck decided to top it all up with an unusual appearance that many fans tagged as a midlife crisis look. What surprised most fans was the timing of the divorce announcement by Jennifer, which came exactly a month after their second wedding anniversary. It's most likely a move to hurt Ben and shock the fans. But was it really shocking news? By paying close attention to the duo's actions in the months leading to the divorce, it can be seen that the divorce had been brewing for a long time, and fans had surely been paying attention. I mean, how else would explain Jennifer Lopez was flying solo at the Met Gala in May? That doesn't look like an event a married celeb attends as a single, right? Especially since she co-chaired the event. Yes, you heard me right. Jennifer stunned fans with her gorgeous appearance at the Met Gala, where she rocked a glitzy Schiaparelli gown that raised eyebrows but also raised questions as to the unavailability of the established movie star, Ben Affleck as if we wouldn't notice Ben's absence from the event. And that's only one in a long line of pointers arousing suspicions that the former A-list couple's relationship was heading south. Fans would later wake up to the news that the couple had decided to sell off their $68 million mansion in Beverly Hills, which they both got when they were newly married. This only signals that things might be falling apart for the Benefers. But this isn't something that will pass with time. This is the kind that erases all hope as expectations for a reunion would be further shattered when Ben Affleck decided to move into a newly purchased $20 million bachelor pad mansion in Los Angeles. The sign of the separation is undoubtedly apparent at this point, and Ben isn't even trying to hide it anymore. Just take a look at the hefty price tag that came with the Pacific Palisades property. This is for sure more than just moving into a new home. It's the kind of price you pay when you are planning on starting life afresh, and I'm not even capping. According to Realtor, the so-called bachelor pad is hardly for a bachelor as it comes packed with a five-bedroom mansion sitting on two-thirds of an acre, featuring a two-story guest house, a suite, a garden, an office, a pool, and a spa. More like he was already preparing to start a new life with another lover almost immediately. Although Ben hasn't been seen with another figure, yet we remember well, he was spotted flirting with his ex. Jennifer Garner, earlier in February this year. Ben can't just help his penchant for Jennifer's, right? That's not to say anything is happening yet anyway, since we know Garner is currently involved with John Miller, but hey, at this rate, nothing can be ruled out. Who knows, maybe another Jennifer might pop onto the scene. And while our lavish Lothario was busy on a spending splurge, Jennifer got to sell her four-bedroom penthouse in New York City for $23 million, as reported. All these were seen by fans as textbook divorce moves, and the suspicions were confirmed. We've been right all along about their split. It now seems like ages ago when Benefer 2.0 made headlines after rekindling their romance in 2021. The world watched in awe as two of Hollywood's most iconic figures gave love another shot. It felt like a fairy tale, a second chance at a happy ending everyone wanted to believe in. Their reunion was marked by lavish vacations, paparazzi frenzy, and public displays of affection that had the internet buzzing. Remember when they made it Instagram official? It was July 2021, and fans couldn't get enough of the power couple flaunting their rekindled romance. The chemistry was undeniable, and it seemed like they had learned from their past mistakes. The media was in overdrive, detailing every look, every touch, every smile they exchanged. Fast forward to 2022, when Jennifer Lopez was all over the place, gushing over the second diamond ring that Ben got her with an inscription that reads, not going anywhere. They both got us thinking things will certainly work out differently this time, and we believed it. Um, which is on the inside of this ring right here, my engagement ring that he gave me, it says not period, going period, anywhere period. Uh, where my first diamond ring he gave me, the pink diamond ring, it said sing. And this one he put not period, going period, anywhere period, because that's how he would sign his emails when we started talking again. Like, don't worry. But then, 
Cracks began to show below the surface of the relationship. The pressure of living under constant public scrutiny, the challenges of blending families, and the demands of their respective careers started to take a toll. Despite the glamorous facade, the reality was far from perfect, and soon everyone began to catch up on what was going on behind the makeup facade. One of the eye-openers about the reality with the Hollywood couple was their frequent arguments which began to surface publicly. There were many occasions that revealed the misalignment going on between the two, from Ben looking rather unhappy at the Grammys to the argument that ensued between the duo at the premiere of Jennifer's movie titled Mother, and the list of evidence goes on and on. They might both have fallen in love two years ago, but right now, that spark we used to see around them is all but gone. It's so obvious they've both lost it. Can you come down? Together, together! The Benefer couple tried to cover up matters with misleading pictures of them together, still in contact with each other, and even publicly wearing their rings, presenting themselves as though they still got it despite the overwhelming evidence that their relationships were already on the rocks. Like, who are they kidding? TMZ reported one of those occasions when Jennifer and Ben Affleck were seen speaking together recently. This couple's attempt at projecting a united front was perceived by fans as a publicity stunt to silence the rumor and paint the picture that they were still on speaking terms with each other. However, that did little to quell the rumors, since it was only the first time they would be seen together publicly in over a month. 47 days, to be precise. That's highly unusual for the attention-seeking couple. Despite all this, some fans were still hoping the two would get things in order. But in the end, the only thing in order was a divorce. This news left fans in awe, wondering why they couldn't just settle things without pulling out the divorce card. Of course, many would have wanted it to work out between these two. After all, it was the classic Hollywood love story, and many wanted to have a happy ending. Sorry, Benefer fanbase, but Happy Ever After isn't happening this time. Ben isn't even making any effort to hide it all anymore, as he decided to drop another bombshell on us with his new midlife crisis look, switching up to a tiny faux hawk and a red hot chili peppers t-shirt, adding to the mix skinny jeans, aviators, and a seemingly undersized black leather jacket. And guess what? This time, he was without the ring. It's more like trying to rub it off in our faces that he's moved on already. But why this fashion choice? It's more like an unusual look for the two-time Oscar-winning actor. This isn't the first time the 51-year-old star would change his look during a divorce. In 2008, during his divorce from Jennifer Garner, Ben rocked a phoenix tattoo on his back. It's now a signature move for him to change looks anytime he's ending a relationship with a partner. But is it a procedure that helps him transition into a new life? Or did this time's midlife crisis finally kick in? He is only passing a message to Jennifer Lopez, who intentionally announced their divorce filings coincide with their second wedding anniversary, that he's not affected in any way by the move. Ben Affleck was the first to make this move when he acquired the $20 million bachelor pad on the same day Jennifer celebrated her 55th birthday. They both keep us wondering about their next moves. But we all know one thing. The Benefer saga is far from over, and the drama surrounding it is only getting started. As we stay glued to our screens, waiting for the next chapter in this Hollywood spectacle, one thing's for sure, this story is bound to keep us all entertained for a long time to come. As it unfolds, we will be here to provide you with details of each and every move. But for now, where do you think this all leads to? Do you want another Benefer episode? Who do you think Jennifer is going to hook up with now that she's single? What do you think Ben's up to now? Drop that thought in the comment section. And don't forget to also like and subscribe.